Okay, this is kind of crazy and feels so weird to me because I haven't made a video like this in a really long time, but I do miss just being able to talk to my camera and you guys. I mean, really, it's you guys that I'm talking to and just like sharing my life and what I've been up to. It's been like a freaking whirlwind the past few years. But the main point of this video, I don't wanna make it too long. I'm ideally hoping for like a five minute video or something. I wanted to just open up about our fertility journey, trying to conceive journey and stuff like that because I know so many people are going through this, right? I'm also in my robe right now, so like, don't judge me. This is a work from home in my robe day. So that's what I'm doing. So I know so many people are experiencing this right now and people are starting to talk about it more which is super helpful and I feel like not a lot of people were even a year ago or a couple years ago but now people are starting to be a lot more open about it but I just kind of wanted to share our story because if it helps any of you then it's worth it to me I also would like to say for any of you who have followed me because of my motorcycle content you're welcome to stay this is like I was trying to niche down my channel to be like one thing and I just can't do that because that's not how my life is. I'm a very multi-passionate person. So I'm gonna share about my life. I'm gonna share about riding motorcycles. I'm gonna share about personal things, trips, all that kind of stuff. So if you're not here for that, that's totally fine, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I would like to open up again and be more real on my YouTube channel like I used to be. Maybe not quite as personal, but still like, I guess this is a pretty personal thing. Talking about trying to like literally make a human. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. You're welcome to say it or not like literally your choice I don't care so basically the story with my husband and I so we got married I shared this a little bit on my TikTok a couple weeks ago just a bit about our story but I'm able to explain a little bit more in detail on a YouTube video because obviously you can talk a little longer but we got married in 2018 and for us kids were not even like a topic of conversation for at least two years we always said like oh I want to wait two years before we start trying um but I would say within the first year, I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of want a baby. I was starting to get baby fever at that point. But we both were very invested in our own businesses and he's doing real estate. He still is doing real estate, but he's very heavy into real estate at that point. I had my coffee trailer business still at that time. Um, and I had a couple other things going on. So we were just too busy. It wasn't even an option. I also was on birth control, but I ended up getting off birth control, I think in 2019. So the year after we got married. Uh, because of many reasons it just like really affected me mentally and I was dealing with a lot of depression and like weight gain and a bunch of stuff that's not fun so I got off of that and I started using the daisy fertility tracker and natural cycle tracker basically so we were just kind of like avoiding the points of ovulation that you know it gives you like a red light and stuff I can put a link to that down below if you guys are interested but anyway that's what I was using so I've been off hormonal birth control now for like what is that 19 can't do math three four years but anyway because that's the whole part of like TTC is people are like oh you have to get birth control out of your system and I'm like spit out of my system for like four years but anyway I have so many thoughts but point is 2019 I got off birth control 2020 was probably the first year that I was like okay I want a baby now but as we all know 2020 was like the worst year ever just a lot of stuff happened and even in personal life like we had a lot of stuff happen in our personal life it just wasn't the right time mentally not great you know the state of the world it wasn't like the best time to like want to have a baby you know not even everyone was allowed in the room when their baby was born which is a whole other thing but that's not acceptable so i'm like i don't want to have a baby right now because that's just crazy <laughs> so then i think like after 2020 kind of started to calm down in 2021 was when we pretty much like officially pulled the goalie you could say stopped tracking pull the goalie that's a for christmas's reference but anyway, we stopped preventing and I knew a lot of people who were trying to conceive at that point and like everyone's biggest advice is like, oh, just have fun with it, don't stress about it and yada, yada, yada. Cause like as soon as you have stress in your body, um, that can, you know, make it harder to conceive because you're like putting too much stress on yourself and it's not even fun anymore. And I was like, I really don't want that obviously. And so like, I was ready for a baby at that point. My husband was okay at that point with it. We just still weren't like planning, planning. But like I was hoping it would happen and like we definitely would have sex. I don't, am I allowed to say sex on here? I don't know if I'm gonna get dinged for that. We would definitely do it around the points of ovulation, kind of like hoping it would happen. But again, not doing anything crazy. I wasn't taking any like extra supplements. I was taking prenatals and everything. And you know, it never happened. After a few months, I was like, I'm kind of surprised that it hasn't happened yet. I don't know. But then, you know, you never know. It takes like on average six to 12 months, I think for most people. You're not really like, declared infertile or whatever until at least 12 months of trying unprotected i just realized my dryer is probably really annoying in the background i'm sorry guys but this is kind of like a spur of the moment video i just decided to post if there's anything i'm like skipping over or not going into detail enough please put it down below because it's been a while since i filmed a video like this definitely like out of the routine <laughs> but i just kind of wanted to get the story out there to open it up and then i can be more 
casual about it in future videos but point is so um didn't happen for that whole year of just kind of like willy-nilly i would say and then i'm like okay like i want to actually be trying now so in 2022 last year um we were like tracking and trying and i would say we were like loosely trying in 21 because like i knew when i was ovulating because i just know my body and everything and like we would do it around those times but it didn't happen you know so i'm like well maybe it's because i wasn't actually taking ovulation tests every day and stuff like that so all of 2022 that's what we were doing i was taking all my prenatals i started taking extra supplements like things that were just supposed to boost fertility and paying attention to what i was eating all that kind of stuff and taking ovulation tests every single day which is freaking exhausting so yeah that was all of 22 didn't happen so here we are in 23 still not pregnant still trying and i have multiple friends who are in the same season of life i have friends who don't even try and get pregnant i have people who tried and got pregnant naturally after a year and a half or people who uh, got naturally pregnant after three years or you have to go to a fertility doctor and get some prescribe some stuff you know there's like everyone's just got a different story and everything like that but i just kind of wanted to open up about where i was at and where we're at because until i originally opened up people always were asking when are you guys having kids i thought you guys would have kids by now and i'm like so did i so let's stop saying that to people but i have a pretty good mindset about it um right now i mean like i'm still bummed i definitely get triggered whenever i see people announce their pregnancies which i feel like right now is multiple times a week i'm happy for people the hard part is if you never experienced something like this like the frustrating part is you just wonder like why isn't it happening for me like what is wrong um and we haven't gone to a fertility doctor yet um we will probably in the near future but i was just trying to give it enough time like i wanted to like be trying for like a year to two years naturally because i know it can take that long anyway before we started putting money into it but now i'm at the point where i'm kind of like okay <laughs> if there's like a simple medication that i should be taking or like something is wrong with my hormones or my husband's hormones or maybe not wrong but just off like if there's a simple solution that we just don't know yet because we haven't been to the doctor then i really want to go and figure that out but that's kind of where we're at i have multiple friends who have um had some miscarriages which is very sad and you know everyone just has a different story and i feel for everybody because like it's i can't imagine that i've never experienced that i know it's been really hard for them and i try to be there for them um but then there's people like me who have like i've never seen a positive pregnancy test and so then that's also frustrating because it's like you've been trying for one to two years and i've never seen two lines so it feels like my body can't even do it but maybe it can i don't know <laughs> so it's just a weird time um, and I'm I'm trying to like stay chill and positive about it all because like I know there's I don't want to say so much more to life than having kids because like we do really want kids But I don't want to like miss what's happening in my life right now because I'm trying so bad to have a kid And I don't want to be depressed about it because I'm not having kids But I would also be lying if I said that I wasn't triggered whenever I see someone announce that they're having a kid Like it definitely is kind of like a punch to the gut um, and just like reminds me what we can't do or don't have or whatever right now. But um, regardless, I'm happy for the people. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to like open up with you guys about that. If there's anything else you want me to go into detail on, like we've tried a bunch of random stuff. Like I've tried as far as like Mucinex and like I've tried all like the weird things you can try that are over the counter. Yeah. I, I'm not really like a TMI person, so I probably would give too much information and my husband would be like, why did you say that on the internet? So I'll try not to give TMI, but regardless, we've tried like pretty much everything that doesn't involve going to a fertility doctor. So that's the only thing we haven't done yet. We probably will be doing it in the near future, but if you needed another person to follow who um, is going through something similar than you, or if you want to talk to someone about it, I'm in the same boat and I totally get it. And yeah, you're not alone. There's a lot of people that are dealing with it. And also just try to remember that there's other things in life and just be grateful for what you do have and what God has blessed you with. And like, just know that his timing is perfect, which is literally the most annoying thing people say. I understand. I hate when everyone's like, oh, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's just frustrating because you feel like you're doing everything you can and it's not happening. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, so if you have any other questions or if you just want to chat about it, you can go follow me on Instagram at Taytorell um, or on TikTok at Taytorell underscore. And I do share some about it on there as well. And I will try to post more videos about our life on here and just keep you guys up to date um, because I just, I don't know. I went through a phase oh, that's a whole other topic i could talk about mental health another day but i went through a phase where i was like i don't want anyone to know anything about my life because i had shared so much about my life for so many years 
then I was like really private for a long time but then that feels kind of lonely because I do like sharing with you guys and relating with you guys on the internet so anyway blah 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 I could talk forever which is why I have a YouTube channel but I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video okay bye